Julia Sarah, and I'm an education volunteer at Greenwood Wildlife. Now today I have hi, something. Hi, hi, hi. <gasps> Am I late? No, Philbert. You are right on time for some wild crafts today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, did you say you're from Greenwood? I did. So Greenwood Wildlife is a very special center in Colorado that kind of acts as a hospital for for wow. wild animals. They take care of sick, injured, and orphan wild animals, help make them better, and then release them into their homes in the wild there. That is awesome. And you know what else is awesome? What? 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 Making our very own raccoon puppet. Nice to meet you there, sir. Do you <laughs> come here often? Oh, Filbert, this is the puppet. Oh, you mean that's, um, I knew that. <laughs> sure oh. you did, Filbert. All right, but do you want to tell the people at home exactly what we're going to need? Oh, got it! All mm -hmm. right. <laughs> so you will need the following. First off, a brown paper lunch bag for the body of the puppet. Some scissors. Some colored pencils. That's the fun part. Some glue. So I have both a glue stick and some liquid glue here. And some paint and a paintbrush. And the most important part, our raccoon puppet template. Yes! Now ask a parent or guardian. This is available on the Greenwood Wildlife website under the Just for Kids link. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, what's the first step? Let's get started. So the first step is we're just going to go ahead and color our template. Oh, I love coloring. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and start picking some colors. I think I'm going to do... Mm, a red for the tongue. Good idea. Mm, that looks great. And, you know, I'm going to do some black for the ears. Very nice. And I'm going to make mine look just like my friend Rascal the Raccoon. You've probably seen him on a couple other videos here. I know my buddy Rascal. He's so nice. But kids, you can cut it with any color you want. You can do whatever you want. That's oh. the fun part of this puppet. What if coloring is too hard for me? Uh, you know, it's a struggle uh, with my little paws. You do have little paws. And don't worry, we have the perfect solution for you. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to color a template, you can print out this nifty pre-colored <gasps> template. This Whoa. is also available on the same place on the website. All right, I'm going to give this to you here. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so now, once everything is colored, we can just go ahead and cut it out. Oh, right. So we'll just grab our scissors, scissors, and we will very carefully go around each of the shapes here. Now, you'll probably want to ask a parent or guardian's help, especially when you get to the, put the hands of the raccoon there. These are very tiny spaces, and you'll probably want a little bit of help. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm definitely asking for help. Oh, for sure. All right. You ready? Yes, when everything is cut out, what do we do? We are going to start making the puppet. So we're going to grab our brown paper lunch bag. <gasps> oh yes, is there a lunch in there for me? <laughs> no, this is for our puppet, silly. And besides, oh. you can't eat human food. Oh. It is very bad for you. You're right, I need to stay healthy. I'll just have to feed my hunger with creativity instead. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, Filbert. All right. So now that we have our brown paper lunch bag, we're going to make sure that it is flap side up. And we're going to start grabbing the pieces that we've cut out here. So I have a couple of examples here. So we're going to grab this one to start. Okay. Wow, that looks like a mustache. <laughs> wow, Philbert, wow, it looks very lovely on you. This is actually going to be for our eyes of our raccoon. Oh, uh, what now? So we're going to want to make sure that we put these right at the top of the oh. flap there. Position that. In fact, to kind of make explaining this easier, I have a completed example oh, right here. It's the raccoon's mask. Exactly, just like rascals. Mm -hmm. So we'll go ahead and glue that down and then kind of start using the other components around that. So we'll put our eyes on our mask, our hair kind of over that, our ears, and then this is where the important part comes in. We'll go ahead and glue the parts of our mouth on oh. here. So we'll put that kind of at the edge of the flap here with our nose, and then make sure that the tongue aligns with that too. Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure we have a puppet that it's can eat back. and talk. Nom, nom, nom. What about that big round thing at the belly? <gasps> that the is correct. So after you're done with the face, you can move on to the belly. So we'll go ahead and glue on our little fur patch mm -hmm. there. 
and our arms. So the arms are actually going to go on the space in between the bag I there. See. So it goes ahead and blends in there. What about very important? Oh. The big bushy raccoon tail? Of course, we have to have a raccoon, right? Just like Rascal's tail. <laughs> Just like Rascal. We're going to go ahead and glue this to the back of the bag, mm -hmm. kind of in the middle there. And um, we want to make sure yeah. that it's nice and secure. And we want to make sure that the pattern is facing outward here. Well, that makes sense. Hmm. It looks pretty dumb to me now. Uh, can I play with it? <laughs> Not yet, Filbert. We have to make sure that this is dry and ready to play. Uh, so you probably want to wait like an hour or so after you glue everything down just to make sure that's all nice and dry. Well, that makes sense. But I see you have another uh, example over there. You do yes, yes, there. Yes. This What's is special about it? My painted <gasps> bag, Raccoon. So if you want to get extra creative at home, you can grab some paint and a paintbrush here. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going to do that, make sure to tell a parent or guardian so they can put down some kind of scrap newspaper, scrap yes. towels, and you can just go ahead and paint your bag. Now, some tips if you're going to paint your bag there. Mm -hmm. Number one, you probably want to paint your bag in segments because we want to make sure that the mouth doesn't stick to the body. Oh, so that yeah. probably means kind of painting the head, let it dry, paint inside the mouth, let it dry, and then paint mm -hmm. the body. What you, glue should we use for this? I would definitely recommend using kind of a liquid glue instead on this one. Mm -hmm. Because the bag itself, when painted, is kind of a different texture than the regular paper bag. Oh, and that just makes everything nice and secure. Ah, oh, very good. Well, we should, like you said, want to put paper all over so we don't make a wild mess. But this one looks pretty dry. <gasps> all right. And I'm wondering if we can play now. <gasps> we can. All right. So you're going to be my first raccoon there. Yes. And then I'm going to put on mine. We can make a show. We can take pictures. We can do whatever we want. In fact, you could make a show just like us. Rascal, I'm a raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is not just a show. It is art. So join us next time for some more fun wild crafts. Yeah, sure Bye. Will. Bye, kids.